Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from weekly contest 347. The second problem is minimum cost, or uh, sorry, the third problem is minimum cost to make all characters equal. So basically here we have a string S um, that has a length N, and we have only two types of operations we can apply, right? So we choose an index I, and then we can invert from zero up to that index I um, with a cost of I plus one. The other oper so this is the first type of operations we can make. The second type of operation is to uh, choose again an index i, uh, but invert the right side. So invert from i to n minus one, and the cost there would be n minus i. Okay, and the goal is we can do any one of these operations any number of time, uh, but the goal is um, to return the minimum cost to make all characters of the string equal. And here by invert they just mean that. Um, 0 becomes 1, and 1 becomes 0 if you invert, right? So, for example, if we take a look at this one, well, we can actually just do one operation, which is to invert this portion here um, to 1, okay? And the cost here would be 2, okay? So, if we invert this, we'd get 2. Um, that's the minimum, or you could also just invert the last portion to 0 and get 2, two as well here, because it would be n minus the index here, 0, 1, 2, so it would be 4 minus 2, which is 2, okay? For this example, though, it's a little bit more involved, right? We can first um, choose to um, invert from index 2, so here, 0, 1, 2, we'll end up with um, 1, 0, 1, 1, like this, and then we can choose to invert from this index 1, and that would give us 0 uh, like this. And then we invert this from index 0. Now we have all 1s. And then we invert from the right this position. And now we have 1, 0. And then we, lastly we invert here. Okay. And now we have all 1s. And the total cost 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 for each operation gives us 9. Okay. So that's sort of the idea here. Now let's see how we can tackle it. Um, okay, so let's see how we can tackle this. So one thing to note here is that if the number you want to change is in the first half, it's always better to flip the first half. If the number you need to change is in the second half, it's better to flip the second half, right? Because it's just, it would be shorter, right? So let's say the number, let's say we have a number like this, maybe one, zero, one, zero, one, right? For this value here, right? So what's the first half? So this is four and then this is four so this is the first half second half so for this one well if you take if you flip flip it like this from the prefix side from the left side then it's going to be bigger than if you just flip it like this right so that's the first observation right so if it's easier to f if it's on the right side portion it's all it's better to do the second operation which is inverting from i to n minus one um so what we'll do here is let me take actually just a bigger example to show you here so let's say we have something like this okay so what we'll do is we will um or let's take just this one so what we'll do is we will just go th so what's the first half we know that this is the first half and this is the second half but we'll do something slightly different which is compare i minus one and i right and the the actual position we are investigating whether to to start flipping from is i minus 1. And then we'll just do i traverse the string with i. W why do we do that? So what, what would be the first half? So the first half if i minus 1 is in the first half or in the second half. Okay, so let's just draw the first half. This is the first half. This is the second half. Okay. Um, and then we will stop when our... Um, we want our i... We'll stop when our i is in the second half until our i is in the second half because then our i minus 1 is in the first half. And so what that would mean basically is we will have our i go from 1 to n divided by 2. Right? And we will be check. We will be, if there is, if si is different than si minus 1, if it's different than si minus 1, that means we need to flip. Okay? Because we want to make them equal, right? We want to make them all be the same character. So if we encounter ones that are different, we have to flip anyway, right? And now, which side we flip on, we just decide based on this, uh, we just do it for the first half separately and then for the second half separately. And so what that would mean here is we'll go, okay, so we'll start from one i here. So they are equal, so we don't do anything. We move our i here. They are different now. 
I minus one is here. And so what we want to flip is from I minus one to the left. So what's the cost of this flip? Well, the cost is for a position is I plus one. The position here is I minus one, so plus one. So the cost is overall is I. Okay, so what should we add to our cost here? Um, let's just keep a variable for the cost. So our cost would be plus I. And so what is I? Zero. Let's put our indices here. So the index here is zero, one, uh, two, three, four, five. So our index here is for I minus one is one. And for so it's one plus one, so it's two. So the cost increased by two. And we flip this portion. So what, what we end up with when we flip is like this. Okay. And our I was here. So we move it to the next position here. So you see here we used I plus one um, because we are doing the left side. But now we are on, I is on the right side. Okay. Because what's n divided by two for this case, it's three. And so we want to go all the way until we want to include I equal to three. So it's still on the left side. I minus one is still on the left side, okay? And so that means here, since they are different, right? What should we do? So they are different, so we need to flip starting from here. And so we flip zero, 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 one, one. Th these stay the same. We flip only the left side. What's the cost for this? Because this is still on the left side. It's two plus one, so it's three. So we added, that's five. Okay, and now our I moves here. Now you can see we are on the right side, right? We are on the right side. I minus one is on the right side now, okay? And now, but now they are equal, so we don't need to do anything. So we move our I pointer here. They are equal, we don't need to do anything. And how do we divide checking the left half and the first uh, second half, the first half and the second half? Well, we just need to do two loops. We can do two loops, one from I to N divided by two, and then another one for I, um, from n divided by 2 plus 1 to n and the cost here each time if we find the difference is going to be n minus i but the cost here is going to be plus i why plus i and not plus i plus 1 because it's for i minus 1 right this is the one we are checking here okay so it's going to be plus i so it's going to be i minus 1 plus 1 which is going to be i but this is only if there is a difference right only if they are different okay we flip only if they are different. If they are not different, we don't need to flip. Okay, so that's something to note there. Now let's just take another example to make sure this works. So let's take this simpler one here. So um, let's put this first half and the second half and we'll put the indices. So the indices one, two, three, first half, second half. So our I first here, so first here, they are equal. We don't need to do anything. Uh, we move our I here. They are different. And so what do we need to flip? We need to flip the left side, I minus one, starting. So that would be one, one. And what's the cost? The cost is, remember, I minus one plus one, which is, which is I, so it's one. Okay, and we are done. Uh, sorry, it's not one, it's one plus, um, it's, it's two, yeah. It's I minus one plus one, so it's one plus one, so it's two. So this is the cost we return, okay? And now let's take a look at this other one here. Um, let's copy this one and let's do it on it. So first we do the first half, which is this portion. And so first I plus add the positions, two, three, four, five. So first I starts from here. They are different, so we need to flip the left portion, I minus one. So that gives us one, one, zero, one, zero, one. And now our I position is here. So we compare, they are different as well. So what's the cost? Let's first add the cost that we added here. So the cost is going to be zero plus one, so it's going to be one. And now here at I, they are different, so we need to flip this portion. And you can see, by the way, in every case, um, here we would have flipped. Um, here we'd have flipped these to zero. Sorry, I didn't add that up. We'd have flipped these to zero so that they are all zeros. And here we flip it all to ones. Now in this case here, uh, we flip again. So we have zero, zero, one, zero, one. And so what's the left half? This is the left half. This is the right half. So our I is now here. And they are different. So now we are doing the second loop. We, uh, we finished the first loop. Now we are doing the second loop. 
um, sorry now we are doing the still this one it's when we reach here that will do the uh, this loop so now they are different so what do we need to flip we need to flip the left side right so we need to flip this portion here and what's the cost well we didn't add also the cost here so the cost here is zero one it's one plus one right which is two so we have three and now here we flip these so one 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 zero one so what's the cost here well zero one two three four five so the index is two plus one so it's three so it's six and now here we um our i position is at this position now right so where do we flip well they are different so we need to flip the right side right because now we are doing the uh, because now i minus one is on the right side we need to flip this portion um this portion uh, Yep, this portion. So wh how do we do that? So we, we flip this portion here. So we have one, 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 zero. Okay. And now what's the cost of doing this? Well, this is zero, one, two, three. Uh, sorry, let's actually do these properly. So this is index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four. So this is index four, index five. And so it's n minus i. What's n? n is six. Six minus four is two. And so we need to add two, right? And so how do we six, seven, eight? Okay. And now we we i is in this position here. Um, and now what what we need to flip is this portion here. And so now we flip that, and now we have one here. So you can see it works. We have all ones. What's the cost that we add? Well, this is position five. 6 minus 5 is 1, so we add 1 and we have 9. And if you look at the example, this is the right re result that we need to return. And you can see the approach works, right? We only flip if they are different. And we do the left side separately and the right side separately because it's always better to do the left side. Um, to do the left side, uh, to do the, to flip the left side if the position is in the left side, and to do to flip the right side if the position is in the right side. The only tricky spot is this computation with i minus one to make sure you don't you don't make a mistake there. But otherwise, it should be it should be pretty straightforward. Um, in terms of time complexity, we are just doing this loop over the first half and then over the second half, so it's o of n time. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's implement this and make sure it passes. Um, okay, so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview. Should be straightforward, simple implementation. Um, we just need to go through the first half first, and so that's just going to be. We also need to our cost, initial cost. So we go through the first half, which is going to be one to n divided by two. In Python, to get to n divided by two, we just do n. We just do plus one. And now we check if si minus 1 is different than si, then we need to flip from i minus 1. So we need to flip this prefix 0 to i minus 1. And so the cost for that is going to be i minus 1 plus 1, which is going to be just i. Okay? Um, and then we do the right half separately, right? And so this is going to be n divided by 2 plus 1 because we want to start from that position because we compare the two. And because we compare the previous one and this one, we'll cover all elements of the string because this one stops at um, n divided by 2, then this one checks n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1, okay? And so here the cost is going to be, because here we want to flip, if it's different, we want to flip i to n. And so it's going to be, of course, n minus 1 because that's the last position. And so this is going to be n minus i. That's what the um, this second operation is. Um, and then at the end, we just return this cost, okay? Um, we need to just define n, which is the length of s. And this works fine, okay? Um, so O of n time here, and O of one space, okay? Now, we can actually merge these into the two loops, right? How do we do that? Well, you can see here what we are actually, why we are doing the two halves, it's just because the the first half, it's smaller to use i than n minus i. And so instead of doing the two loops, we can just take the min. And that will be the same thing. Okay? 
that will amount to the same thing because on the first half i will always be the min on the second half n minus i will always be the min okay and so that's sort of the idea here and so if we submit that passes as well okay um yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye